Hello, and welcome to my channel for my video where I'm beginning to teach myself how to read tarot cards. Um, and I realize that this doesn't look anything at all like tarot, but I realize that um, part of my problem with learning tarot has to do with me understanding the symbolism. So I'm going to start with the minor arcana because the major arcana is not as, as difficult for me. I'm always stumped by the minor. And in order to get the minor, I need to understand um, the symbolism between the numbers and the elements and it all goes together. Um, in the center, I learned something today having to do with these little triangles that uh, symbolize <clears throat> the elements and um, they're based on the Star of David which is the six-pointed star of course if the water wasn't there you could see it better I'll try it like that so you got water fire and the cross comes from this is the part of the star the upper part of the Star of David where the water bar crosses over and earth would be the lower point coming down here so it would be like this well it's something interesting that i just found and i just i want to share um i've also found some nifty crystals because eventually i'm going to take off the little tag. Um, I've got some fire agate and carnelian red for fire and uh, celestine? Celest celest something. Celestistine? <laughs> and Laramar. I don't know how to pronounce that crystal, but it's pretty and it reminds me of water. In fact, I'm going to turn it. There we go. Pardon me while I fight. <laughs> And then we've got earth, I've got hematite, and obsidian, and Chinese writing stone, which is pretty cool because it's got these marks on it. That's just in the stone that looks like Chinese writing. Um, and here I've got my clear quartz and a citrine that looks like a tooth. So these things are supposed to be memory aids for myself. I don't know if they actually pair, but they make me think of water, fire, earth, air. Um, so what do these elements have to do with anything? Well, that's what I'm going to try to figure out. So let's start with fire. Fire, my good fire at it, this carnelian. Fire, I always think lava passion. Um, the element of fire is light, it's flame, it's heat, it's energy, it's passion. Um, here, here's a funny thing. When I was looking up at the elements, creativity, all four of them stand for creativity. Who knew? It doesn't help when you're trying to figure things out, but they are all creative. But fire is freedom, uh, love, um, strength, uh, courage, it, it's action. So fire is, is an active element. It, it doesn't wait. It, uh, it's always moving. And if it's not moving, it stagnates and like a flame. If it doesn't get enough energy to keep moving, it'll die. Or at least that's how I take it. So since it's this pointed to water, let's go to water. Water is fluid flowing healing so if your water is blocked you have bad health um regenerative purifying uh, what else does it fertility um i don't you know i think that's always kind of weird for me that water is fertility but i get it um it's good health and purification we'll Everything else I've got written here starts duplicating. 
So let's jump over here to air. And air is intelligence. Air is thought. Um, it's knowledge and learning. Um, it's electricity, if you will, um, which in a way is sort of like fire, but we're not going to go there. So air is thought, We've got passion, emotion, um, very uh, powerful elements, and yet in what they symbolize are all ethereal, not of the physical plane. Uh, that we come to earth. Um, earth is our um, physicality. It's um, the stability. It's orderliness, um, groundedness. It's sustenance. It's food. It's our money. It's security, um, which is probably a good thing. So this I always think of as the physical realm. And these three are how you get what you want here, in my mind. So we've got those uh, definitions. And today we're just going to do the number one. Because I think I have to do this one number at a time. I think you'll get that every video, this is video one. My first one was video zero. This is video one will be with ones. And I was looking, thinking of something to symbolize one, and I'm like, oh, what better than the magician card? Um, because, you know, it's the number one. And here's three of my fun decks to symbolize the magician. It's number one, but also each magician usually has each of the elements in it. So great place to start. So one, what is one? New beginnings. It's number one is singular. Ha, huh, who knew? Singular. But it also means that it's the, it stands alone and it's a quality, um, of uh, focus and willpower. It's it's a um, energy without raw energy, if you will, because since it doesn't mix with anything else, um, it's just the the one thing. Um, so you've got uh, focus or single mindedness if on a negative. Um, new beginnings, willpower, um, positiveness, um, achievements, success, self-reliance, because again, one, nobody else. Um, it's also the point of, um, of where you start. One is where you start. So I was thinking, let's look at some cards. And we've got, do we want to look at fire? Let's do fire. So these are the Ace of Wands that I have to symbolize the number one. Oh, and the Ace of Clubs. Oh, let me, what does that say? I'm going to read this really quick. Had you rather Caesar were living and die all slaves than Caesar were dead and to live all free men? Interesting. Didn't we say fire had to do with freedom? I was wondering if the playing cards with this, the Shakespearean statements would have anything to do with the, the tarot. So uh, clubs are uh, wands, freedom, and that's Brutus. So let's see what we got here, shall we? Um, oh, it's got crystals for my air, yeah. So we've got, this is, doesn't say fire at all to me. I think this is one that always stumped me. I never could figure out what wands are supposed to be because they're fire. So, yeah, this is the Lightseers. Fire the mind. 
that helps. Um, this is from the um, Urban Tarot. Oh, I like that because that's the Statue of Liberty behind there. This is Madame Clara, which has the actual words on it, but there's matches for wands. Opportunity, potential, delay. So that's one with fire. You know what, the aces, these have always been my problem. So basically, they seem to start with the idea of what is possible. So here you've got the possible growth, but it's potential because, you know, though this is um, the fire, growth actually comes from, what, over here, your, your physicality, which we don't have yet. Um, and it's in the cloud, so it's in the air. <laughs> so right now, this one most makes me think of fire. Inspiration. What is the reverse? Distraction. So I'm liking these two to have, as far as telling me what the Ace of Wands should be between fire and the number one, which is a passion and the be new beginnings is uh, the beginning of a, a fire either here in the mind or just inspiration. So I'm, I'm going to actually, uh, got the little book here, I'm going to see what the Ace of Wands says. New ideas, the seed of potential, the arrival of inspiration, illumination, intense creativity, again. They all say creativity. The mirror-like nature of conscious, the interconnectedness of all things, the ability to manifest all things. You know what? I'm going to break from what my plan is, and I'm just going to use the light seer. So I want to put all the I pulled out all the uh... oh that is beautiful okay so there's all my ones and all the elements. Then here's my magician. So we've got the Ace of Swords. This is great. This, I know it's swords, but this actually speaks more of the intellect and ideas. There's no sword. They use birds in this deck instead of actual knives, which I, I don't know oh, where that comes from. But um, this, this stairway into the brain to that ideas are coming out. I like that. Um, the heart, everything coming up, coming back from the heart. Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over the playing cards as well. So the beginning of an emotion, the start of something new, uh, inspiration, where this is uh, maybe an idea or, or a thought. This is actually the start of a plan of an idea of something to create. Here is the start of actually creating, at least in my mind. Um, let's see. Diamonds were earth. This was Swords. Okay, so be bloody, bold, and resolute. Laugh to scorn the power of man, for none a woman born shall harm Macbeth. 
I don't think it has anything to do with Days of Wands. <laughs> Let's see. I had so lavish on my presence been opinion had since left me in reputeless banishment. Okay, so the quotes have nothing to do with the cards. But I also want to show playing cards that match. So hearts go with the, the cups, diamonds with pentacles, spades go with wands, clubs go with swords. There's a tailor. Sorry, that's the way it goes. My bad. So, these remind me the most. Let's put some other cards down. Okay, so like I said, um, this one is helpful because I like words. <laughs> so I can just read the words, which, you know, sometimes in life, just tell us what it is. Um, I love this. This has cups and buttons and matches and needles. Uh, so let's see. Breakthrough, uh, new ideas, clarity, opportunity, potential. What's this one say? Uh, new love, compassion, new emotion. That's what I said. And so, and this one is abundance, prosperity, or at least the start of it. Some weird rabbit. Um, let's do my favorite. This may hurt. This may hurt. I've got a couple of favorites. All comes down to so the cup bringeth over this actually makes me think more of prosperity than that except that's a coin this is emotions overflowing um, I guess the laurel or the the crown of growth has something to do with an idea over this being something to be put into action Again, it's not, it may get clearer. And let's do the steampunk. Because who doesn't want a little steampunk? And, well, I really like the images. So the steampunk, I like this fountain with the birds. So you've got emotions coming out. This actually looks like a hand with a coin purse, so prosperity looks, is that a leprechaun? You know, the, I know that's a, an arbor, but it looks like two dinosaurs. Um, the wand looks like a baton, uh, but it, like in the hand of a runner, you know what I mean? You gotta hand off the baton, it's an idea, It's it's got growth potential, and this cold, um, sharp steel, sharp mind, ideas. So I actually can get there from actually looking at the cards below it. So today with our number one, our nice magician. And our magician is resourceful. Unless it's action, concentration. And our magician utilizes all his elements, his water, his earth, his fire, his air. Because the magician is the inception, the idea. It's nothing's been done yet because he's just had the thought um, to the idea of what it should be. It hasn't even been manifest. It's a, a twinkle in someone's eye, if you will, a glimmer in the heart. Can you glimmer in your heart? Not sure. Um, the the business venture that you think you can do or the business venture you think you can do? This is where I get kind of confused. Um, the, 
the will to the deciding that you have uh, something to go for. You have this beginning of a passion um, that may actually need one of these to come to fruition. But first you need the will to want to do it, the resources to do it, the emotional um, backing, and most of all the plan. So any one of them by themselves makes you lopsided. You kind of need all of them. Which, oh, like the Star of David in the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to leave that here because I don't want to go any longer. Um, but um, I'll have to start testing myself. But this is something for me to think on. And tomorrow, we'll do the twos. Thank you.